Jack Spong. Well driven ball into the path of Mari Samuels, who's in behind here for the Seagulls. Clever cut back to Todd Miller. Just loses his footing at the edge of the penalty area. Back to Jack Spong. Thinks about the shot. Tries to thread it through to Cam Perpion. And now maybe a chance at a counter-attack for final. They have numbers driving out right. One of them's now Jox. Acres of space for now Jox. Right-hand side of the penalty area, lobbed towards the back post. Grun's waiting. First time volley deflected away by James Beadle. Fantastic save from Beadle, leaping to his left to palm away that Grun effort. Perpion, Furlong's delivery, looking for Barrington edge of the area. Rolled out to Nilsson. He's going to drive one towards the near post to Croson, who smartly drops to the turf to claim it to his chest. First shot on target for the Seagulls and Casper Nilsson, who doesn't score many, tested Croson at the near post. Hocher. Klein, looking for Grun, it's good ball. Flag stays down against Grun. Penalty error, clever back hill. Sowers picked it up, back to goal. Waits for Tazon to join in, it's Tazon, and it's just past the post of James Beadle's goal. He found Sauer, Sauer found Tazon, but he only found the advertising hoarding behind James Beadle's goal. Last 15 minutes have been starved of chances for either side. But when both sides are just so comfortable in possession and so structured defensively, it's always likely to be the case. Hinshaw Wood to Todd Miller. What a brilliant touch that is round Sam Valk. And now Todd Miller's away. One on one with Croson's. It's Miller and the Albion have stormed into a first half lead against Feyenoord. And it's Todd Miller on the score sheet. What a brilliant touch it was to take him past Semfalk. He got one-on-one -on -one with Kersens and just slotted it under the Dutch keeper and into the bottom left-hand corner. And Seagulls have taken a 1-0 lead in their first game of this Premier League International Cup campaign. Seagulls just not giving final room to breathe as they try and play it out. But there's the outlook ball they were searching for into the path of Mike Klein. It's going to stand up McConville. Just cuts inside of McConville. To now Jocks, edge of the area. Leo Sauer with space to shoot. And he drags his shot past James Beadle's right-hand post. Perhaps more time than he thought there, the Slovakian. They've just worn out this final side with the way they've pressed them and the way they've closed down the spaces. Still plenty of time, though, for final to get back in it. Ezekiel helping it to Tazond. Tzongi's there first, but it's fallen fortuitously for Grun. He's got a curl one towards Beadle's goal and curls it off the crossbar. Fantastic effort from Nesto Grun. But just bounces off the bar of James Beadle. And a warning sign for the Albion, perhaps a let off as well. Jack Spong to Beadle. McConville, this time just plays it first time to Furlong. He's going to try and run Malambo into the path of Eiffel. And he has plenty of energy left in those legs. Eiffel the substitute, twisting his man inside out, driving towards goal. Oh, what a finish from Marcus Eiffel. And maybe he's just won it for the Albion. Incredible. Started to make the transition to the under-21s last year. You'd think he'd been here for a decade with finishing like that. Smashing it off the post and in. What a moment from the youngster. Attempted cross, blocked by McConville. How many times has Rory McConville got in the way of final shots, crosses, whatever it may be. And that will do it. An emphatic victory for Shannon Ruth's young Seagulls. One of the Netherlands' proudest academies has come to Lansing and lost to this young Brighton and Hove Albion side. Your final score in Lansing, Brighton and Hove Albion 2, final nil.